Hello and welcome to this Scribus tutorial on how to put a bitmap image into text and apply a drop shadow to it. Some of the most asked for hottest topics on Scribus. Okay, have a new Scribus document open and I'm going to click the text frame tool and draw out a text frame. And then double click it and type in the word headline. And then press Control A on the keyboard to select all the text and then go up to Windows Properties or press F2 on the keyboard. And I'll bring this over real close. And then click on the text button. And you see that the point size of the text is highlighted. Just roll your middle mouse button forward and you'll start to make that text larger. Now also you can click in here and type in the size that you want or press the scroller here and get it to the size. Now this is already set on Arial. We'll use Arial and change it to bold. Now I have this bold text here. So I'll click off and click back on the frame and then we'll change this to outlines by right clicking it and then going to convert to outlines. And now it's no longer live text so I can stretch this out to any size and I don't have to use the uh, controls on the text button panel. Okay, so we'll leave the word headline alone for a while and go out and get a picture to put inside of this text. So we'll come back over here, click on insert image frame and draw it out and then double click it to bring up this dialog box and then go out and find a picture of your choice. I'm going to use the Windows winter scene and I'll click OK and it comes in and all I can see is some of the trees. So we'll talk about how to move this around in here in a little detail right now. So with the frame still selected, come over here and pick up the Edit Contents of Frame button, click it, and then you see this hand over the frame. You can drag this around anywhere you want. Now, notice I'm able to drag it. If I was to come down here to the Image button and click it, you see that I have Free Scaling is selected. And then there's another button for Scale to Frame Size. Now, now in uh, Scribus 1.3.5, there is a feature added to the context menu. If you right click, it used to be adjust image to frame and now we have adjust frame to image. Both of these are really nice. So the first one I'll click and it proportionally scales the picture to the height of the frame. But this area is blank. It's not going to stretch across. So what I want to do is get this to move over and be right up against the picture. Well if you right click it again and click adjust frame to image it does just that. But also notice that it checked this box for us. And when this box is checked, you can't really come over here and click this button anymore. It's grayed out and it won't work anymore. But if you um, scale this box up and down, grabbing the control point here and holding the control key on the keyboard, you can make this any size you want. Now it says proportional. So if I uncheck that button, probably if I uh, just drag this, you're going to see that it's scaling non-proportional. Okay, so that gives you all the functions of scaling a picture. If you want to stretch it across or you want it to be proportional or resize it, it, it's all there. You don't have to worry about it. So I'll click this again and then right click and adjust frame to image. And then I'll just make it a little larger so that it covers the whole size of the word headline. And now we're going to make it into a pattern. So the way that you do that, but first, before you make an image into a pattern, come over here to Colors and click the drop down. And you see that there's horizontal gradient, vertical, free radial gradient, and there's no word called pattern. The word pattern only shows up if you put a pattern into the pattern library. The way that you do that is you right click and go to 
send to patterns. This can be very frustrating if you don't know how this works. So I'll cover it in a little detail here. So I'm going to call this cool blue landscape. Click OK. And now if I go back to colors, click the drop down and there's pattern. And there's cool blue landscape. So if I come up here to the word headline and click it, and then go down to colors, and click the drop down, there's the word pattern, and I click on it, and then it fills in headline with this picture. So I'm going to click on the picture and delete it because we don't need it anymore. 